okay, let us discuss some standard functions based on this compo derivatives of the composite functions. Suppose d by d x of this u power n, this is n into u power n minus 1 into d u by d x, whereas u is the function of x. Suppose like this is there instead of u, y is there, y power n. Similarly, n into y power n minus 1 into dy by dx. Suppose d by dx of sin y is there. So, cos y sin derivative is y differentiation is dy by dx. d by dx of log y is there. So, this is 1 by y dy by dx. Suppose d by dx of e power y is there, where y is the function of x. So, e power y into dy by dx. So, now d by dx of some a power y is there. This is a power y log a into dy by dx. Now, let us find out uh, derivatives or differential coefficients of inverse trigonometric functions. Derivatives of inverse Trigna metric functions, inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, first one d by dx of sin inverse x, how much? Let us find out. So, now here let us suppose this y is equal to sin inverse x. See in functions we have studied the inverse of a function. Suppose y is equal to f of x, then x is equal to f inverse y we can write or x is equal to f inverse y then y is equal to f of x. Now, here x is equal to we can write sin y. This time differentiate with respect to y or with respect to x. So, if you differentiate with respect to x, we get like this d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of sin y. So, what is the derivative of x with respect to x? That is 1. So, what is the derivative of sin y with respect to x? This is the composite function. So, sin differentiation is cos, so we get cos y, y differentiation is dy by dx. But what is our aim? Our aim is to find out the derivative of y with respect to x. So, dy by dx is equal to we can write 1 by cos y. So, from trigonometry we know that this cos theta is equal to root of 1 minus sin square theta. So, cos y is replaced by in terms of sin. So, we get now here dy by dx is equal to 1 by root of 1 minus sin square y. If y is equal to sin inverse x, what is sin y here? Sin y is nothing but x. So, since sin y is equal to x, this can be written 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So, therefore, 
d by dx of sin inverse x derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So, now let us find out the derivative of second function cos inverse x. Second one is d by dx of cos inverse x. Let us find out derivative of cos inverse x question mark. So, now Let us suppose y is equal to cos inverse x. y is equal to f of x. So, we know that x is equal to f inverse y. So, this we can write now x is equal to cos y. Differentiate with respect to x. If you differentiate both sides with respect to x, we get d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of cos y. d by dx of x is equal to 1, d by dx of cos y. Cos y means first cos differentiation, next y differentiation. That is minus sin y into y differentiation is with respect to x is dy by dx. Our aim is to find out dy by dx. dy by dx is minus 1 by sin y. So, now, so this can be written minus 1 by where sin theta is equal to root of 1 minus cos square theta. So, here we can write root of 1 minus cos square y. So, here cos y is equal to how much x? So, minus 1 by minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square. Therefore, d by dx of cos inverse x is equal to minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square. 